Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a website on Google Sites for free. That's right, 100% completely free, no hosting fees. The only thing that you need is a Google account, and if you already have a Gmail address, then you are good to go. So I'm gonna walk you through the process of doing some basic design. This will be a multiple page website with a contact form. And at the very end of this tutorial, I will show you how to associate your website with a custom domain name. That is something you will have to purchase if you want a custom domain name. But if you're okay with having a domain name at you know something like sites.google.com slash your name or something like that, then you don't have to worry about that. It will, like I said, be 100% completely free. So let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial here. Um, first thing you wanna do is to go to sites.google.com and if it asks you to sign in, go ahead and sign in. Otherwise, we can get started right away we're gonna make a, you have these templates, right? You have a template gallery, portfolios, events, help center, project team, uh, all this stuff you can look through, but I think it's good just to show you in this video about how to start from a blank slate. So let's do that. And um, they do kind of give you some basic elements here as far as like a header and your page title. And then on the right hand side, you have all the individual elements that you can insert into your page. So you got some basic layouts here at the top and then all your individual, um, we'll call them elements again, that you can put in here. So buttons, dividers, a YouTube video, um, Google Sheets, Google Slides, all this stuff. So we'll work with some of this and of course your, your basic text box images up top here. Um, let's go ahead and just dive right in. Let's start customizing a page. I'm gonna make a page for uh, my, my website, Tony Teaches tech and this is uh, fairly easy to use. I mean, you can highlight the text, make it bold, uh, change the way that it looks as far as the, the thickness of the thickness of the title. So we want it to be nice and big, so we'll make a big title here. And um, let's change this background image to something else than this black image. So we can either upload our own image or select one from their library here. And I'll do something, um, you know, fairly simple. Let's just see what a couple of these look like. So like this blue one, that actually doesn't look too bad for uh, the, my, my theme colors and all that stuff. So I'll, I'll stick with that for now. Um, let's add a logo too. I do have a logo on my local machine so I can upload that logo from my desktop in this assets folder. Here's my Tony Teaches Tech logo. So we'll upload that. That looks good. It's always good practice to put in some alt text here. So I'll say Tony teaches tech logo. And um, it's really cool. Use co logo color for your theme. So we can actually apply the, uh, it detects the colors of your logo and you can apply that to the rest of your site. So we'll use the same thing for our fave icon, which is the little, this guy up here, that's a fave icon. So we'll use um, the same logo for a fave icon and that looks good. So um, next to that, we can again type in our site name, Tony Teaches Tech. And as far as the header is concerned, that looks like good, a good place to start. So um, let's go ahead and add some content down here. We can either do this, you know, again from a blank slate, or we can choose one of these pre define layouts. I'm gonna pick this layout right here and just drag that onto the white canvas here so we can have an image on the left and some text on the right. Or if you don't like that, you can simply just drag the, the image to the right and have the text on the left. So it, it's really easy as far as that's concerned. I'm gonna do something up here for the header. Who is Tony? And uh, again, I'll make this bold just a little bit bigger. And then I do have some text over here that I worked with before. So just a quick little blurb about who Tony is. And I think it'll be a good idea to put a picture of me here. So I'll upload from that assets folder, a picture of myself in here. So that's coming together pretty good so far. Let's add a new section down here. Um, this time I will, let's put a YouTube video in here. So I'm going to take this and I'm gonna find a video on YouTube, one of my videos, uh, which is what is Tony teaches tech, or you can upload a video or find a video by URL. Um, this is the video that I wanna add, so I'll click on that and select that. 
and this adds right below the first section. And again, a really cool feature of Google Sites is the fact that you can drag this around. You see that um, these two blue uh, horizontal lines on the other side means that we're in the center. Or if you want to have this really big, take up the whole space, you can click on it and drag it to the exact size that you want. And I think that looks good. So I'll make it full, full screen width here. And just to have some break between this section and that section, I'm gonna add a text box um, right above there. And we'll say uh, something like, we'll just say Tony teaches tech on YouTube. You know, something like that. And we'll make a, make this a title again, make it bold just so it matches with this uh, the same font and size up here. So we got two sections so far. Let's add another section down here. We'll uh, make sure we're selecting this section and we'll add a text box below it. And we'll do um, something like Tony's expertise. Tony's expertise. I think that's how you spell it. Uh, again, same thing, make this title, make it a bold, and under there we'll add um, we'll add a layout. We'll do something like this. This can be a good visual uh, depiction of my expertise. So again, we'll go back into that image or that assets folder, upload some images, and we'll do uh, we'll do Gmail. We'll do another one. We'll do Ubuntu servers, which is like an operating system. We'll do Python and we'll do, what's the last one, WordPress. So we'll just give each one of these a name. So email, uh, servers, Python, programming, and WordPress. Okay, you, you know, you get, the, we'll put a capital P, you get the idea. So you, highly customizable, you got these uh, pre-configured layouts and you can just keep going with this going and going we'll add a footer uh, just to close out this page and I'll do something like um, this Tony teaches tech it's fine for this to be small but I do want this to be centered so I can change the alignment here that being right in the middle of the page um, I like the way this looks um, let's go ahead and add a second page so right now this is just a one-page website we can add a second page by doing, um, coming up here to the pages section and you see we have our home page. Let's add a second page here and we'll call this contact. And the cool thing again that I like about, and if you don't want the page to be called contact, you can specify um, a custom path here, but by default, it's gonna take the name of your page that you give it and place that for the URL. So. Uh, we'll keep that here and what I was saying I like the fact that they add your navigation bar up here at the top so you have your home button tab up here and then you have your contact tab so we can switch back and forth between the two and your users will be able to do the same thing so um, that's really cool so I'll say up here contact me and this is where we can leverage the power of Google Forms and embed a form from Google Forms right here on this page. And if you're not familiar with Google Forms, um, it's really easy to set up, but I'll show you what I'm gonna do here on under the insert tab here on the right-hand side. If you click on Forms, um, it's gonna find all the forms that you have created. And if you, like I said, if you don't know anything about forms, you can go to forms.google.com and in here they have all these different pre-configured types of forms, kind of like the same thing that you're seeing with the templates in Google Sites. But, um, and this, this can be anything, like really, uh, this doesn't have to be a contact page, this could be a, a t-shirt sign-up page or a survey or um, an event registration, anything like that. But like I said, I already have a pre-configured contact page here. So I'll just select this one and add that into our website, whoops click on that and we'll insert that. And there we go, that's now on our website. And same thing as before, we can center that or make it as big as we want. I think that looks good just to be, um, you know, kind of some padding on either side. So it says, contact me, feel free to use the contact form below to get in touch with me, name, email, let's talk. And they can hit the submit button down here. And when they do that, I'll get an email and it'll be automatically saved to my Google Drive account. So uh, back here, um, I think a good thing to have is something like a, a call to action on this page. And a good way to do that is with a, with a button. So I'm just gonna pick a button down here 
and we'll say get in touch with Tony and we'll link this button. So when somebody clicks on this button, we'll link it to the contact page and um, we'll make this bigger so you can see the whole text and put that right here in the middle, right at the bottom, just so that when people come here, they're scrolling down the page and then they come to the bottom. Whoops, we didn't save that sizing. When they get to the bottom, if there's nothing else for them to do, then they'll want to click on to the next page, get in touch with Tony, and then they'll be linked to the contact page. So um, that looks good as far as the design's concerned. You know, we got our multiple pages here, basic layout on the home page, and our contact page here with a contact form. So let's publish this so we can click on publish up here and uh, the URL that you want to publish to I'm just gonna say I don't like the dashes let's see if I can do Tony teaches tech so my URL will be sites.google.com slash view slash Tony teaches tech we're gonna do that we're gonna do this now uh, we're gonna publish it under this URL but I'll show you how to do the custom URL if you're interested it in doing that if not don't worry about it um, so lo this looks good let's publish it and that'll take a second or two. And now we are now published. Let's click up here and click on view publish site. And again, at sites.google.com slash view slash Tony teaches tech. You don't technically need that home, but it'll take you to the home page. Here's our published website. This is what people are gonna see, you know, live across the internet. You got, um, quick little blurb about me up here, a YouTube video, which is directly embedded and playable here. And then my expertise and a button that links to our contact page. And you can fill out this contact page and submit it and I'll get an email about uh, whatever you filled in here. So that looks good. Um, as far as uh, setting up your Google sites, that's all you need to know. The next part of this tutorial is going to be about linking this with a custom domain name. So instead of going to sites.google.com, slash view slash Tony teaches tech will go to a specific domain name. In my case, it's going to be Tony me. So let me show you how you do that. Let's get out of here and up here in your settings, you can actually come down to custom URLs, excuse me. And this is where you need to have already purchased a domain name prior to this. And this is going, the steps of doing this is going to be different depending on where you purchase your domain name from. In this case, I purchased my domain name from DreamHost, but again, the, the same concept will apply no matter where you pick your domain or buy your domain. So let's go ahead and type in www.tonyflorida.me and we'll assign that to our website. And because uh, I already went through this process before, I already detect that I own this domain name, so there's no other prompt for me, but if you see something about needing to verify ownership of the domain name, just go ahead and follow those instructions and you'll be good to go. You'll be able to associate your domain name with your uh, website. So there's actually one other step here that we have to take, and that is to change our DNS A record, or I'm sorry, our DNS C name record for this wherever we bought our domain name. So that simply involves going to the place where you bought your domain name. Again, I bought mine from DreamHost, so I'm on DreamHost here, and I'm gonna find the domain name that I want to associate this with and click on the DNS settings for that. And what we wanna do in here is add a single DNS record under a, uh, the type of the record is gonna be CNAME, and the, the value of this record is going to be GHS, dot google host it dot com and this is this is standard across all of google sites there's documentation um, which will guide you through this on google sites if you clicked on that learn more more link um, but this is what we want to do um, and we want to have this to be www.tonyflorida.me so we'll add that a record and this usually takes um it, it varies it takes you know anywhere from a minute up to like a half a day but we'll take our chances here and see if we can um, navigate to this this URL to see if that works. So uh, let's 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 try it out right away. So um, just verify again that we have our custom URL tonyflorida.me. Let's open up a new tab and go to www.tonyflorida.me. And if it's not ready yet, so let me pause the video here. 
uh, come back in five minutes and then I'll show you that that nat, if we go to tonyfleury.me, that we'll be able to go to our Google site. So I'll be right back with you in just a second. All right, guys, I'm back about 30 minutes later and the DNS propagation has finished. Let me show you here. If you open up a new tab and go to www.tonyflorida.me, we will see that our Google sites loads and it looks uh, it looks pretty good. And as far as anybody else is concerned, uh, they have no idea that this is a website with Google Sites. So um, that's about it for this tutorial. If you have any questions about the custom domain name or about designing your website with Google Sites in general, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. A couple other videos over here about free website hosting options. So check those out as well. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.